ho, ho. What up, what up, what up? It's yours truly, Mr. Telefero. My annual Christmas giveaway is on the way. Last year, we did it on YouTube. This year, we're going to do it on my Instagram account. So if you want to win AirPods, gift cards, and a lot of other stuff, you want to make sure you're following me on Instagram. At is Mr. Telefero. You're in the running to potentially win some AirPods and a lot of cool gifts this holiday season. Enjoy the video. What's going on? It's yours. Truly just say it with me. They call me Mr. Telefair. How's everybody doing out there? Now, takashi 69 and his case, if you've been following my platform, I say for the last seven, eight months, you know I've consistently told y'all, bro, 69 is getting out of prison this year. I've said that from the beginning and I stand right by that. As, as, as right now, it's December 5th. Takashi 69 has a court date in about two weeks. So on December 18th, that's literally one week before uh, Christmas. So in about a couple Wednesdays, Takashi 69 is going to be in court and he will find out how much time he'll do for his part in the racketeering case uh, for the nine trade gang. So if you remember correctly, last November, Takashi 69 was picked up. And right after that, members of the nine trade gang were picked up. Pretty much the feds were like, yo, we've been following y'all for a little minute. Takashi, we know you reached out to the nine trade gang for support, uh, for, for them to help your rap career from a street cred perspective. We know the nine trade gang wanted Takashi 69 to be the rapper to kind of clean up some of their money and help them make more money. So make a long story short, you had two people with their own motives coming together and that shit went south quickly. People started lying on each other within the set. People was trying to set up people in the set. Crimes were being uh, pretty much recorded on camera. Literally, they were committing crimes in broad daylight, shooting at the Barclay Center. It was a mess for the Nine Trey gang. And with all that being said, this shit went down south. And now these dudes find themselves, a lot of these dudes facing 10 years, 15 years. A guy yesterday just got 20 years for his involvement in the Nine Trey gang. It is crazy out here. Uh, for Takashi 69 and the Nine Trade Gang, but for 69, he agreed to work with the feds, and he agreed to work a long time ago. He's like, "Yo, these dudes don't like me. They already saying they gonna snip. They, they they was gonna kill me, right? They was gonna pretty much off me first chance they get. Why am I going to have these dudes back? I'm not finna ride for these dudes. These dudes was done with me. They kidnapped me and all type of stuff." So he's like, I'm not riding. I'm not doing 20, 25 years. I'm not doing a beer for these dudes. Now, nah, I'm a snitch and, and try to get as least time as possible. And I mean, Takashi 69 work with the feds to a T. A lot of the information and a lot of the uh, quotes from Takashi 69 and when he went and testified, they leaked out. We saw Takashi 69 vividly describe his involvement with the nine trade gang how everything got started uh what everybody was doing from a crime standpoint the lies the deceit everything takashi told everything he needed to to potentially get out of prison early and according to the feds and prosecutors they believe he's done a great job snitching and prosecutors have officially and this is as of a day ago they have officially sent over the documentation uh, to the U.S. Attorney in the Southern District of New York, which pretty much is asking the judge for a reduced sentence, pretty much saying Takashi was incredibly significant and, and extremely useful in, pr in prosecuting and convicting two members of the nine trade set. The feds are even acknowledging that Takashi's life will never be the same again with all that ratting and snitching he did. But even with that being said, he still agreed to work with us, knowing the risk that is going to be on his family and himself for the rest of his life. And with all that being said, the feds are like, bravo, job well done, let him out. They're asking for Takashi to get out some leniency in time seven. I believe they're going to get it. So that's the latest update. There is a really good chance, and I've been saying this for months now, that Takashi 69 will get out of prison on December 18th when he goes in for sentencing. It is simple as that. Bruh has did everything the feds asked him, and it's helped them lock up about eight to nine dudes that they didn't want on the streets. They don't care about Takashi being on the streets. He was never the threat. This is just a, 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 a kid that was involved in a lifestyle that he had no business in. He got a 6'9 tatted on his forehead. He got colorful hair, but he really ain't about that life. 
All he is is the all he was was the face of a very, very, very terrible brand. And the feds are like, job well done. You could go on with your life. Prosecutors are like, job well done. You good. You can get out now. You don't even want witness protection, which is what they're recommending for Takashi. Oh, you mean we don't got to spend our money on protecting you and your family for the next 20, 30 years? You mean you just want to walk away scotch-free because you want to still pursue a music career? Six nines out of his mind, but I think he'll be out of his mind outside of the prison walls. That's my latest update. Obviously, we're going to be covering this one extensively in the next two weeks. So please make sure you subscribe to my platform if you have not done so. Again, just for clarity, there's a great chance Takashi 69 will get out of prison on December 18th as the prosecutors have already sent over the information to the U.S. District Attorney's Office, the judge and all that, saying you guys should let Takashi out on time serve. He's did about a year. He told everything he knows, and we're happy with that. I'm out. I came from nothing, but I want everything God has for me. I interview celebrities. I talk sports. I still represent the culture. I got the kids that tuned in. in. Tuned in. We locked in right now, Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Telefair. Shout out to Mr. Telefair. Watching Mr. Telefair TV. Mr. Telefair TV.